everybody. It's a little crazy today. So um, we took a field trip to uh, Holland to uh, my sister's house to help uh, with a project and you'll see um, why in just a little bit. But the power went out so that was entertaining. Um, so we did Arch by Candlelight so you can always try that or with your flashlight. Just like our um, cave prehistoric artwork. Um, we had just the light coming in the windows, and that was it. So I'm out on the porch doing my video here. Um, but today, anyway, today's project, we are going to do, or I want you to try and do um, an interactive piece of artwork, okay? Now this could come in many different forms. Um, it could be small, it could be handheld, okay? So I just have this little bitty, I cut out, I drew a wand, okay? <laughs> There's Wade. Say hi, Wade. Say hi. <laughs> um... Uh, so you can make um, like something that's small and handheld and take pictures with it. And I'll show you my picture here in just a sec. Um, so you could do little things like this. You could make it bigger and use a sword uh, or make a sword or just oversized objects like a really large cookie or, you know, just really fun things like that. Um, you can make a mask. Now you're probably wondering, I did like a thicker paper for this so that it would hold up. Um, cereal boxes work fantastic. Um, because they're a thin enough cardboard that we can cut them with our um, scissors and not have too much of a hard time with them. Um, but uh, even just smaller boxes that are that thin cardboard would be great. Or like I said, a thicker paper is good. Um, and then also if you have if you have bigger pieces of paper, that's great too. Um, but interactive art is usually in like mural form, so it's really big and you stand with it. Um, and there are lots of things like that. Um, just around the state, um, Nashville, Tennessee has, or yes, yes, Nashville, Tennessee has a lot of really cool interactive piece of artworks, um, whether it's just colorful backgrounds. And I actually had a privilege of going down there, um, to see some of their artwork and it's just really neat. They change them out all the time. So there's, um, always new ones coming up and they're changing those out and uh, getting artists to, um, do artwork for them. Um, they have this huge set of wings, um, but there's, there's like I said, all kinds of crazy things. Interactive art just means that it looks like you're doing something in the picture with the artwork, okay? Um, and you can have fun with this with your pets maybe too. Um, so we had a little bit of fun with um, Liz's cats because uh, I figured my dogs wouldn't do it. So we made this dragon, and you can use it for yourself too if you really want to. You just got to make the whole figure. Um, uh, Liz drew a dragon here for us, and uh, we stuck her kitty cat's head through there. They did not want to cooperate as much as we wanted them to, but it probably didn't help that we have two toddlers running around screaming. So, um, but, so, make some kind of interactive artwork. So whether you have a big piece of cardboard, you got like a big box, okay, you can make a big piece, and you can use it, or you can have your pets, you know, try and get your pets wrangled in on it, um, or you know, make small pieces. That's fine too. These are just as fun because these are kind of like, think about photo booth props. So make hats, make glasses, make just different things that you can hold in your hand. Just anything and everything that you want to do, okay? Um, so think of objects from video games. Uh, you can, like I said, make a mask. Um, those are just really some quick ideas that uh, I think you guys would really enjoy. So let's work on making some interactive art. Feel free, you can always hang it on a wall behind you. Um, if you have that much space and that much material, that would be cool to make a big one in your own house. Um, but yeah, so you guys have a great day, okay? And I will um, see you around and remember to wash those hands. Bye guys.